Hi Dero doers, and welcome to this video on the chart of accounts. A chart of accounts is simply a list of all the accounts that a business uses to keep its records organized. Accounting software groups these accounts by their type, and while the names of those types might vary slightly from one software to another, they're generally similar. In Odoo, all account types are categorized according to the financial report to which they belong. Let's look first at the accounts that appear on the balance sheet. Equity accounts represent the financial ownership of a company. So these are used for shareholder accounts and retained earnings. Assets are what the company owns and can be categorized into subtypes like bank and cash accounts, current assets like accounts receivable, and fixed assets like property equipment and company vehicles, etc. Liabilities are obligations a company owes, such as accounts payable, short and long-term loans, etc. And then for the profit and loss report, we have our income and expense accounts. Income accounts are where a company keeps track of the revenue coming in from its sales. And by using multiple income accounts, companies can track income from different sales channels or from different product categories to have a more detailed understanding of their revenue. Similarly, expense accounts are where a company keeps track of its expenses, whether that's due to external purchases, inventory loss, or internal expenses. Let's take a look at it in our Bloom database. So we'll open the accounting app and go to configuration and chart of accounts. Now, there are a few things to keep in mind about the charts of accounts. First, the chart of accounts can look slightly different depending on which fiscal localization a company uses. That's because the typical chart of accounts in Canada, for example, is different from the chart of accounts from Belgium, like we see here. However, a database may use a multi-company feature it is possible to have multiple charts of accounts in one database, but there can only be one chart of accounts per company. But the same account can be mapped and belong to multiple companies, and accounts from multiple companies can be merged into one. Check out our multi-company and branch management video for more information on that. Within each company's chart of accounts, each account must have a unique code, a name, a type, and if it allows reconciliation. This enables the reconciliation of journal items that hit this account with open bank transactions. So now if we want to create a new account to track the income that we're receiving from our sales in Canada, we can go to our existing income accounts because the best way to create a new account is to duplicate an existing similar one. So in our case, we'll take the 700-700 non-EU sales account. So we'll select that and go to Actions, Duplicate. And then uh, we want to change this account name. So we'll click into it to open the account and we'll leave it as non-EU sales, but then call it Canada there. And note that Odoo automatically updated the code to ensure that it's unique. So here on the form view, we have additional options that weren't visible in the list view such as the fiscal category and whether the account is active or not. One important thing to point out is that if no currency is specified on an account, it can be used with any currency. And if an account is managed in a different currency than the company's main currency, Odoo stores the foreign currency amount and then converts it into the company's currency for debit and credit purposes. Here in the description tab, We'll update the account description to be sales to customers in Canada so that other users know when to use this account and select it on an invoice. So let's create an invoice to see what it looks like. We'll go back to our accounting dashboard and click on new in the sales journal. And we'll select one of our Canadian customers like Garden D Canada. And we can add a line because they want to buy some of our succulent arrangements. So we'll add that and we'll see that the sales account here is starts as 700,000 and is updated to 700, 700. And then we can change it ourselves by clicking into it. And we see our new account here and the description that we added earlier is visible here. So it helps us to select the correct one. Now, these accounts are all suggested because they're income accounts, but 
If we wanted to select another, we could simply click show more and select another account. But for now, we'll leave it as the 700-701 non-EU Sales Canada account. Note that for vendor bills, it's the expense and fixed assets accounts that are proposed first. Now you know where to find the chart of accounts in Odoo and how to customize it to match your own chart of accounts. The chart of accounts is the foundation of many aspects of accounting, making it essential to set up correctly. Now we have that done, we can move on to the next topic. This has been your pal Dow. I'll see you in the next one.